I can shoot from here, Luke. Well, I'm in the Wanaha area, Blue Mountains. Came in here about uh, five, six days ago with my dad. And uh, my dad's 75 years old, and uh, I was really proud of him. I can down the mountains. I haven't done anything like this with him for 35 years. So uh, he's waiting for us down at the bottom. So we've spent the last four or five days kind of scouting around doing a little bit of ridge climbing and stuff looking for sheep. And uh, Luke came in yesterday and, and uh, found the sheep and we're on our way up to see if we can get into them. That right side's damn near the same, dude. Yeah, it is. I just got it on video. Come on, single file. Don't group up. Look good for the camera. Guys, uh, the guys coming up here to do this, the hunter Derek is just—he's got a great—he's got a great attitude, and you know, coming in here and seeing this country for the first time, it's like, whoa, this is this is legit, and uh, I think he's doing awesome. He's crushing it, and he's staying in really good spirits, and uh, putting out 100 percent effort all uh, as much as I've seen. So it's awesome. I'm really looking forward to today. I think it's going to be a good. Alright, it's uh, September 3rd. Me and Kaylin bailed in here last night. And uh, we did a big adventure across a big canyon across from us here. Spotted some rams uh, about a mile away. So after we left that camp, we bailed clear to the creek down here, set up camp, and met uh, Derek and Ken. Uh, made a big 3,000 vertical foot climb today. Knew where the rams were. Sat on them all day, never saw them. And then 6.15 tonight, out steps all five of them, 600 yards from me. So hiked in a couple of days ago here in the Winaha to help Derek with his sheep hunt. How amazing that he would draw that raffle tag. It's a great guy. It's a tough country. A lot of people that wouldn't even try what he's tried. And I uh, feel lucky that I got to spend a couple of days with him. Unfortunately, I have to leave early. But, man, he did a great job yesterday. Worked hard. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of this video and seeing that ram down, so good job, Derek. Second trip up the mountain to get into them. We tried to get into them yesterday, and they wouldn't show themselves until very late in the day. So, uh, but we know where they're at now, heading back up there, kind of digging deep to find enough energy to get up the hill a second time, but uh, but I'll get there. One of the rams that we there. spotted up there is uh, looks like a real dandy, so kind of excited to get them on the ground so we can do a real measurement and do them justice. So anyway, been fun so far. Kind of zaps the energy, but uh, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. Finishing up our second weekend here, looking for this big sheep. Uh, had a pretty good first week, took a few days off, came back, had the sheep spotted and, and uh, down low next to the trail. So I uh, bust the butt getting in here and uh, set up camp and never saw him again. But uh, it's been a good week for me just in the sense that uh, I think I'm getting a little bit more legs under me and starting to feel a little bit better in here and feeling a little more comfortable in here. So uh, we're gonna head out tomorrow and 
uh, spend a few days, see if we can try and find the sheep again, and then uh, I'll come back. And I'm uh, a little more anxious to come back now. I feel a little better and kind of excited about it. Dad and I stayed the first couple nights we were in here. My dad's tent. It meant a lot for him to come in with me. I wish he was here when we uh, killed the ram. Probably not going to happen, but I love my dad. I love all he's taught me. Wish he was here. So thankful for my wife to help me draw this tag. Yesterday was her anniversary. I had to leave to get up here. I missed her anniversary. My son, we bought him tickets six months ago to go see wild crats. She could learn about wildlife. He's all interested in animals and wild animals and Yesterday was Wild Kratz, a live show in Seattle, and I was planning on going with him, but something else came up. So, hiked in yesterday, hiked all the way up the ridge on the other side over there, spent all the evening glassing, looking for them. They were on the other side of the canyon over there, the day before yesterday, and right at dusk, we packed up to get ready to walk back to camp and turn around and look and here he was over here on this ridge. So uh, I got up this morning, located him again and took a shot, took another shot. I'm not going to say how many we took but we got him. <laughs> 